welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video today i have another haul for you this is some kind of last parts of like black friday orders but also sale orders from planner phase some stuff from my hobonichi really exciting range of stuff so let's show you what i've got so a couple of things before we get started so this is the first video that i'm filming in my new setup i've actually moved my office office uh, well yeah i suppose so i've moved moved all my work from home setup and everything into the conservatory and the reasons I've done that are for kind of multitude of reasons which I will talk about in a video at some point because I do have a dedicated video kind of documenting this move so you can check that out on my channel when I do that I think this video will go up before that but it does mean that it is my first video filming so hopefully everything's okay but do let me know if anything seems off I have better lighting in here so I'm actually hoping that everything is fine but yeah do let me know if anything seems a bit weird the other thing is that I do have a cold um which I feel like is very obvious and maybe I shouldn't be filming this video right now but I don't think I have another opportunity to film it so I'm gonna to go ahead anyway but yes i do apologize for that so first up we have planner face no surprise there i do pr for planner face so you can use my code cat10 to save 10 percent on your orders and add my name in notes to seller to pick up my freebie my freebie matches the star crossed art from planner face which is the like romeo and juliet one so if you pick up that kit it may be worth picking up my freebie if you want to make that go a bit further i have louise's freebie here to show you and this one matches the prosperity the lunar new year art kit so it's super exciting so i'm actually going to put this away now so i don't forget because i am using that kit in january <laughs> she says filming this on the 29th of january uh but i haven't uh i haven't planned any of that yet and i wanted to part of that is because i was waiting for that freebie so very exciting um yeah so this all of this stuff was from the ups sale which anna did in the middle of january so i am going to show you the freebies even though you can't pick them up now i think it's useful to go through it because Anna has done the same sort of tiered freebie system for sales for at least a year now, if not longer, I think probably two years. And I personally love them, but I love to show them because it means for future sales, you can kind of prep and look at sort of what type of thing you would get. So I think it's always really exciting to go through them. And uh, as part of PRing for Anna, I do get PR credit that I use and I do think some of this is PR credit I'm not entirely sure at this point really anymore this has been sat for a while so I don't know what I did or didn't use them with this. So this was the all order freebie so you can see from this art it's basically a cafe theme but it's kind of 70s cafe themed it's really cool i really like it the colors are so springy and i really want to use this in march time so my job is that's its busiest season is march and i like to use kits that kind of have like busy themes or co like I don't drink coffee but I spend a lot of time in coffee shops that time of year and th it just reminds me of that so I think I will be using this kit then I love the spring vibes and just uh, yeah I really love this theme uh, I do then also have the January order freebie which Anna is doing the doodles and scripts again super cute these are so usable I love them I sort of unpick them all and put them into my reusable albums so in terms of what we have here there's a there's a fair there's a fair amount so let me try and go through it in a way that has some <laughs> some sort of sense so let me just reorder here because i think i have everything in the wrong order <laughs> so yeah because i think that's right so that's i expect then the box i think is usually the 25 pound freebie so the way that anna does it is the more you spend the more you get in terms of the tiered freebies and so the idea is that you know the more you spend if you choose to you can sort of build up to a full kit i just love this method i think it's so great and like you'll kind of see when we get to the 50 pound freebie you've like easily got enough for one spread before you even kind of go any higher than that so the 25 pound freebie was the box add-on which is very popular in shop now i know a lot of people really love the box add-on so that was the 25 pounds the 50 pounds was this mini kit i love a smoothie bowl I wish I had more patience to make them. Like, I really love them. Uh, I love this as well. I love you so much. Uh, that's so cute. I just think this is adorable. I love, love, love the colours of this. It's just so cute. So that was the £50 freebie. So yeah, you've easily got enough for a kit there because remember, you're getting two boxes in the any order freebie. The £75 freebie was the glitter add-on, one of my personal favourite sheets. And then the £100 freebie was then a full kit. But also, if you're subscribed to Anna's newsletter, you could put in a special code in the notes to seller, which meant you got the 15mm washi and you got two toolboxes. So again, super generous for I absolutely love it. I mean, I love a toolbox. I'm so here for a toolbox. But this is, in my opinion, enough for at least two full 7x9 spreads and then probably a B6 spread on top of that. 
I just love the, the way that Anna does tiered freebies. So I will show you the Fashion People add-on here. I think I may use this one because I love the ombre hair. This one looks the most like me, but I love the ombre hair. So that's going to be a difficult decision to decide which one to use. Then this is the full kit format. So, I mean, I love a pastry. It's my, the industry I work in is very, revolves around pastries at this time of year. And I love that we've got the notebook as well. That kind of links into my job, I feel like. It's just, I love this so much. I love the colours. I love the patterns. I know I'm gushing a lot, but I was really, really happy when Anna picked this. So this is in the standard full format that's, oh, look at the bottom washi, <laughs> that's uh, in the shop. I absolutely love that. And so, yeah, so that was the £100 freebie. So as I say, incredibly generous. There's just so much there, which is so cool. And I will make sure I don't put that away after this haul and instead put it in my kit lineup album because I'm just so excited to use that this year. So before we get into the kits, I do have some doodles that I wanted to show you as well. So I picked up these trainers because mm, <laughs> before I got ill... I have been trying to refresh my kind of general life routine and I mean I would love to go back to running but I don't see that happening right now but I have been doing like spin bikes and stretches and Zumba and stuff so I did pick up the trainers just in sort of anticipation of that. I also picked up these console stickers. Um, I have a Switch, I have a Switch OLED and these look like the, they look like the Switch Lite um, in my opinion, or, or a general switch, I guess, but yeah, very cute, and these ones, which are pillow icons, I mark, like, sleeping and naps, and that kind of thing, I mean, I don't nap that often, but when I was sort of batch planning the last six months of my plan, I'm kind of in the middle of the process of doing that, I mark sleepy type things quite often, and don't, I, I'm running out of sleep stickers, so I just love that we had some pillows there, so I could use them for that, love these suitcases, I think these are really cute, my job involves a lot of travel, so those are quite good, I love these notebooks. I use these a lot for marking stuff related to work. So I needed some more of those. And then Anna released these stickers, which are feeling down, which I think is a really lovely alternative to in my feelings. And my planner is quite a depressing place. And so I do need a lot of those kinds of stickers. Then we have the two full kits. And can I tell you, friends, I am obsessed with these kits. I love them so much. And that's partly why I wanted to film this haul today, even though I'm kind of not well enough, is because... I want to get these kits like into my lineup to make sure I use them. So first up, we have just one of my favorite kits ever, which is called Romance. And this is just, I think is going to be really lovely for Valentine spreads. I think it's really suitable. It's not Valentine's Day. You could use it for date nights, anniversaries, weekends away. It's so versatile and I just love it. Like when the artist sneaked the art, I was like, I don't know. <laughs> I'm so excited. And I love it when a kit has a couple box. We increasingly over the last few years have seen more couple boxes. I'll buy any kit that has a couple box in it. I just love them. So I'm just incredibly excited to have this. I am planning to use this this year coming. So for Valentine's Day, Stuart and I are going to a like a meal with a jazz band. I'm so excited. We love jazz and it's just gonna be really cute. And so I'm planning to use this for that because I just think it's like kind of, I don't know. I'm not sure it really is the vibe of what our Valentines will necessarily be like. We're actually going away for part of Valentines as well, but we're going to a spa, so I'm going to use the spa kit. This kit would also really work, but like I have a lot of spa kits, <laughs> so I wanted to use a spa one. So yeah, I've decided that I'm going to use this one like in the week of Valentines. I just love it so much. I love the range of stuff in here. The artist does such a good job. It's so detailed. So I always get the full kit from Anna Shops because it just gives me the most flexibility. So I won't talk too much about the format because you've seen it so many times at this point. I'll just gush about the various parts I love. I love the outdoor scene. Love those date covers. I love the colorway as well. Anna was sort of, we were chatting a lot when Anna was designing this kit about the colorway. And I think she, like, we ended up going with the, the pink and blue. And I think it was so the right choice um, because it's just glorious. I love that bottom washi. I want that cake. Do you think if I show Stuart this kit, this kit, he'll get me that cake? It's so cute. So I did pick up the glitter add-on as well, because as I say, I am planning to use this very quickly. So I wanted to make sure I had everything. So in terms of freebies for the kit, so Anna is very generous with kit freebies and she likes to make sure that she gives us kind of alternate skin tones and hair colours included within kits wherever she can. So included, we have the couple box, which is just so cute. So I think I'm going to use this one. Stuart's hair is closer to this goldy colour, I would say. Uh, he he kind of doesn't agree with that. Like, he thinks he has brown hair, but like, it's kind of 
a mix of like red and dirty blonde and brown so I kind of like this one for him but I think this one is absolutely fine and I don't want to go into the cutting and I'm so obviously not blonde so I think I will just go with that one because it will just make it a bit easier and I love this person as well absolutely love like that dress she, oh, she just looks incredible and then I did pick up the toolbox add-on as well because I just like to have the full range of boxes I may or may not necessarily use them all but I do like to have the full range I have curly hair so I feel like I will use this box because I her, the hair is just fabulous of this fashion person i wish my i could get my hair to look i mean i probably could if i really tried i just don't understand anything about fashion but i just think that person is incredible so i to pick that up so so excited to have that honestly one of my favorite kits ever which is romance and then this one is called sweetheart so this was another valentine's collection that anna released and i love this one as well it's really like valentine's -y bakery cafe type vibes which is just so gorgeous so again i'll go through it so i love this scene like i love the the cakes and the flowers and stuff it's so pretty i'm not sure whether i'm going to use this this year or not i don't know whether i want to save it for another year but i did also order the pink diamond planico valentine's kit so you know there's quite a lot of valentine's kits out there so it might be that i just use this at another like another week in february i'm debating potentially using this in the last week of february just to kind of like round out the season and also with the the cafe vibes and stuff it kind of starts to lean back into getting into my busy work season so that might work for that so super gorgeous and then the freebies that came with this were the alternates for the hair colors and skin tones like i just don't you just wish that was your hair <laughs> i really wish that was my hair so pretty so yeah i really love that as well i did actually also pick up the date night mini kit in fact i can i can show it to you because i've not uh planned that week yet so date night was a reformat of the january 2022 mystery from planner face and i got the mini kit because i had used the, the kit in a planner that I don't really use, that I retired pretty early on. And I didn't use all the boxes, and so I thought I could get another spread out of it. But I just bought the mini kit because I still had the mystery, so I didn't need, like, the full kit again. And I was going to wait and show it in a haul, but I really wanted to do this spread last night because I then was able to just wrap up my planner. Uh, well, other than I have a lot to fill in, but I've laid every base for my 2022 planner now, so I wanted to, to do that. So I didn't want to wait. So I apologise that you're not seeing the kit, but um, let me zoom out. Oh, no, I mean, you can see it pretty well there, actually. So, yeah, uh, this is the date night kit. It was recently reformatted, so another Valentine's Day one. I used this for a week in September. This was the week after we got back from Disney World and I had a different kit in here, but I decided to use this one because it's the only box other than the star-crossed Valentine's spread that, that um, Kit has just did. This is the only box that's ever had an engagement ring and a kit that's ever had an engagement ring this prominent. And this is not planned because we had the art for this kit done so long ago, but it's very similar to my ring. It's just a gold band, whereas mine's a platinum band. But it's very similar. The they're like four like I know nothing about jewelry, but the the four like things that the stone is in are really similar. So I was like, no, I'm gonna use this because yeah, you know, we're getting married next year. I'm not gonna be engaged forever, and so I I will run out of opportunities to use this kit. And I thought it was a really lovely way of like celebrating like we're home and we're engaged. So I use that for that. So yeah, that is everything from Planner Face, other than the uh january mystery which i will show you at the end of this video with plenty of spoiler warnings but otherwise that's everything from planner face next up we have squirrel prince co again no surprise so this were orders around christmas i guess so you got this cute christmasy postcard which is using the season's creepings art which i didn't use uh because it kind of didn't feel quite my vibe but this is very cute and i'm trying to debate kind of whether to keep this or not but because if I didn't keep it, I would probably give it to Natalie from Raw Plans. And then they gave us a free die cut as well, which is this like uh, stocking. Very cute. Also, then you got like a few freebies as well as part of like a Christmas wrap bag. So I think this was one of the freebies, which is a hollow matte label sampler. I don't necessarily use those, so I'll give it away if I don't. And I love this. This is a hollow movie film uh, sheet, which is very cool. How is foil? showing up in here 
okay not too bad as i say fil filming in the new room for the first time so and i'm just trying to assess because there's quite a lot of foil here to show you but yeah so i love this i'm trying to think did i watch any of these films this year i don't think i did oh miracle on 34th street we did watch we went to like backyard cinema to see that i doubt i used hollow <laughs> so that's a shame yes very oh jingle all the way did we watch that as well i don't know anyway super cute then this was a 75 dollar doodle freebie in a blue sparkle which i really like it's very cool then this is mostly just foil uh i don't think there's any kits i don't see any anyway my my pile of stuff is a bit all over the place but i don't see any kits so just foil i think the main reason that i ordered was for uh was for these babies so these are the gold and champagne lights foil bundles and i was using these for my birthday spread again actually i can i can um i'll find the spread for you so my 30th birthday was in 2022 and i used what have i just dropped there i don't know <laughs> and um this i used this kit also from squirrel prince co and i used the golden champagne lights foil bundle and it just looks perfect if you haven't used this kit yet i cannot recommend that foil bundle enough with this kit and i have so many extenders you know there's extenders on many days and the number of bougie boxes that you get with a foil bundle is not enough to do every box and a really lovely friend uh sylvia or who is on instagram i think she's sylv plans rather than sylvia plans on instagram but she sent me some bougie boxes she hadn't used and that was amazing but i had miscalculated and it wasn't enough and so i still had two that i couldn't fill in so thankfully andrea bought the foil bundle back i was like oh thank goodness because <laughs> otherwise i wasn't able to finish my 30th birthday spread so very exciting but i did order a few because honestly I've never loved a foil bundle like this one. And Andrea said it wasn't going to come back after this release. I think it will come back in a different format, but not this like, I think, is this the shimmer format? She said it wouldn't come back and I just didn't want to risk it. So I did buy four and I've already used one, obviously. But yeah, so I just, I just love them. Okay. And then the other one, and this one I love as well. And I regret not having more of these is the rose and matte bronze in the same format i used this again with a spread sorry this is a lot of like going back and forth to my planner but i used this with the uh holiday prep art that kit has just did and it's just oh it's it's so pretty honestly so pretty so i'm a bit gutted that i only have one of those now but it's so lovely and then i think this was d stash stuff like you could get a really good discount or it was like a grab bag or something so i picked that up because i think andrea's really trying to get rid of these out of the shop and so it was really cheap and i thought well while i'm here i will so first up we have a sparkly pink which for me is the absolute hardest foil to pair with anything i'm always quite like i like core foils a lot more than i like fun foil and i find pink foil in particular the hardest to match with kits because pink shades vary so much and i already have quite a lot of pink sparkle but i'll just put that with it then this one is a hollow sparkle i've used a lot more hollow sparkle this year so i feel a lot more comfortable about using hollow sparkles so that's really fun this one is also hollow sparkle but it's a much bigger chunky foil it's kind of disco-y that's fun i like that that's really fun and it's very hollow the grab, the grab bag that I have is very hollow. This one is also sparkly hollow in a slightly less chunky, <laughs> in a slightly less chunky foil. And then this one is, I do not have anything in this color. It's like gold shattered. It's very particular, but I really like it. It's, you can see it better on the bow. It's a really fun. So yeah, always thrilled to have more foil. My foil album, I love being in this new setup because everything is just here like it's not like half my stuff downstairs or half my stuff in the living room it's just everything's in this room so i love that i can show you everything but this is my foil album uh so i've got some work to do to try and take some pain out of that album i'm gonna move some things into other albums and stuff like that i think because she's not looking so good but yes so that's it from spc relatively small order but really fun one with like 
loads of really cute foil and stuff. Next up, we have a shop called Whimsical Plans. I've only ordered from this shop once before, which was Black Friday 2021. And this was my Black Friday 2022 order. They are a little bit slower to ship, but I don't, from anywhere, one other than Plan and Face, I don't order anything that I need that urgently because I <laughs> I feel like, particularly when I then have to have it shipped to me and stuff, everything's always going to take longer. So I don't ever really order from the States in the hope of having something to, uh, to use quite quickly. And this shop has at least two different types of paper. They do removable paper and glossy paper, and they might do a premium mat as well. And when I ordered from them before, I ordered with the removable mat paper because that's what I typically use in the UK. We don't really have glossy paper here. And it just, I just don't totally love the removable paper. It's just not kind of how I wanted the kits to look. And so I decided to order them again, which is about necessary, but we are where we are in glossy paper. So I will be de-stashing those kits at some point. I have quite a lot that needs de-stashing, to be honest. I have a full basket of stuff that needs de-stashing, so I do need to get around to it. But yeah, I have decided to repurchase a lot of the kits in glossy. I've also now seen her format a bit more, and so it was easier to kind of figure out which size kit I wanted, because her small formats for some of her kits are very small, and her big formats are very big. And she has her kit stain shop for a really long time, and so it's kind of like a you can wait to buy until there's a sale but also it does mean that she hasn't reformatted every kit when she's reformatted newer kits and so some of the kits that have been there a long time are in really old formats but I like that she has old art a lot it's made it a lot easier for me to pick stuff up so I'm very grateful that she has that so first up we have this one which is called wizard party I only purchased I think like just the full boxes or something from this before but I do have some full boxes that I've been given in like um RAKs and stuff with this art but from Scroll Prince Co. So I decided to just pick up the kit because I really like it. I think it's so cute. In fact, this would be perfect for my friend Emma's birthday. So she is like a huge Harry Potter fan. So maybe I could use this for Emma's birthday this year. That would be fun. Yeah, maybe that's what I'll do. But yeah, I just think this it, art is very cute. And every format's going to be slightly different. I'm not going to hugely go through them, but I did pick up two label add-ons for this one glitter headers 15 millimeter which is a gorgeous dark green i like those bow ones those are cute those are quite different you can see that the formats as i say a lot of these kits are quite old so the formats like really vary you can tell that some of them do look a little bit more old-fashioned and things like that but i love that the old art is there that's from like before my time with planning or before i shopped with american shops so i can pick it up so i do really love that about whimsical plans so that one is wizard party then we have umbrella i love this art i just think it's so cute and um i love that we've got the like book stack as well very into reading now me uh, like someone was talking about how it's like the in thing for planner people now to be readers <laughs> i'm like yeah that's probably fair i love that everyone's reading now uh so yeah i really love this i love the colors and this was one that again i wasn't happy with um with the other paper this is the box i wish this was like a bit more zoomed in now it's like a little bit odd for it to be so zoomed out but it's still very cute this is a very small format this one from what i remember because also i was trying not to buy all the biggest formats because i didn't want to spend too much money and i do have enough glossy spares that in the main i can kind of make things work then I have this one, which is Halloween decor. And this one I picked up because I missed this art um, when uh, when Anna, I'm pretty sure Anna did this kit. And I, I think at the time I just thought I didn't need it. I don't buy a ton of Halloween art. And then I saw it in in, um, in Whimsical Pants' shop and I just thought, that is so cute. I really, really want it. I love this jumper. I love the hair. So I decided to pick it up, um, <laughs> even though I could have purchased it at the time and just didn't. But I love the cakes. I love the colours. So it just really, it's a really beautiful kit. I just really like the art. I don't have a lot of art by this artist. It's not kind of typically what I default to. I love people's spreads with it. It's just not really my default, but I love it. I love those colours. Like, really, really like them. So yeah, I just think this is so cute. So I'll have to see if I can um, fit this one into my lineup this year because oh, look at that pot of washi. That's so cute. And then this page, this is, I think, more her newer format. So it has, like, the 50 millimeter and some additional boxes and stuff on this page. So <laughs> talk with the trick or tree. That's so cute. And then this one was another repurchase. So this was, I think, one of the reasons I ended up shopping with Whimsical Plans in the first place was because of this BR Guest kit, which it I don't know if it's exclusive art, but I've never seen it anywhere else. And it's, 
Beauty and the Beast themed, if you couldn't tell that. Um, Beauty and the Beast is my favourite film. And Belle is my favourite fictional character. And I just really wanted to have this, but I was not happy with it in the removable paper for my personal taste. I'm much happier with it in the glossy. So I'm really happy to have it. I just love the Belle. I did think this kit is very cute. I think some of the perspectives are maybe a little bit different to how we do plans now because as i say this kit is uh it's quite old but it is very cute so again we've got a totally different format <laughs> just to throw you a bit more but this is oh maybe this is a bit more up to date because we've got some little things there and i love the taylor's oldest time box there and so that's got the like wooden pattern for the bottom we've got the gorgeous red 15 millimeter and then we've got some additional like bell characters if you wanted to change up the hair color so that is be our guest and then I just picked up a couple of additional bits. So first up, and these are just to go with existing kits I have. So these are in the removable paper because the kits I have of these from other shops are in removable paper. So this one goes with a kit that I have from Fantasy Design Store called Happy Place. And Janine barely ever does... When she does her kits, she doesn't typically include fashion people, even if the artist drew the fashion people. And I really like fashion people. I find it very difficult to use a kit that doesn't have fashion people. And then I saw that Women's School Plans like had the fashion person for this kit. So I was like, great, I'll add it in with the fantasy design still kit so that I can like, you know, be more likely to use that kit. And then this one is using some Aladdin art. And I have this kit from Anything Elsie. I won it. And her shop is no longer open. But she didn't do the Jasmine box. She focused the art much more on like the sort of fashion-y elements. It's more like makeup-y and stuff. But I again, it doesn't have any fashion people. I like fashion people. I was like, oh, well, I'll pick this up because then I can have the Jasmine box. So yeah, that's really cool. I'm really glad I could get those. And again, those are much older art. So I'm really glad that Whimsical Plants stocks art for ages because it really works for me. <laughs> so that is everything from Whimsical Plants. So next up, we have the Coffee Monsters Co. As you know, if you've been around here for the last few months, I'm very much in my Coffee Monsters Co. era right now. First, I want to show you some de-stash washi from my amazing friend Alex at Canada Planner Girl. So Alex messaged me and said she would send me some washi samples and then four full rolls turned up. <laughs> and I was very overwhelmed and Alex is Alex is proof that meeting internet people even if you've never met them in real life these people can still cheerlead you and support you through life and I just am very grateful to be friends with her and I'm just I don't know I'm so overwhelmed like Alex knows this already but I'm so overwhelmed by how generous she's been in sending me these the the number of you collectively who have been so generous in sending me washi and washi samples and I just I'm forever grateful for you people I <laughs> I I have a lot of imposter syndrome and a lot of um questioning about my own presence on the planet sometimes and the way that you guys treated me i mean the way you treat me all the time particularly in the last six months of 2022 is um made me very emotional so thank you so yeah massively love these i'm so excited to put these in my washi tower and add to my coffee monsters co collection so i love this one it this is um this is a work one and i feel like this is very reflective of me at work to be honest like even down to like those look quite similar to my glasses this one i absolutely love it's a kind of self carey one i think and i really love the pink foil there this one is so cute this is like a row of houses adorable and then this one is like a uh, clouds and and like I, I don't know how to describe it it's like floating on clouds kind of thing so super 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 cute there so those are just some d-slash ones but these are actual orders from the coffee monsters co so a big thank you to anna from planner face because she picked up all of this stuff for me when coffee monsters co was doing this it was like basically her delayed black friday sale and it fell at a time when i i think i was with stuart's parents it was over christmas i think and i wasn't going to be free and anna being the absolute hero that she is uh ordered some stuff for me so my order was packed by Jan. Those stickers are so cute. So I need to make sure I keep those to put in my Hobonichi. So what I picked up here was the Biome Washi. Very cute. And I picked up the This Planner Belongs To. This is to go on my Hobonichi. So I need to start to commit to putting some of this stuff down. Um, and I got the 2023 in the like rainbow colors to put on my Hobonichi as well. It's cute, you rock. I think Anna has included like most of the freebies that we got with this order in my, in my one. This one is so cute. This die cut that says, I collect washi. Ain't that the truth? Um, and then this one is so cute. It's like a 
fake magazine cover, which is the, the beans card design. I always forget to fill these out. And if I do, I forget to redeem them. <laughs> and then I picked up the planner vellum because Helen used this in her Hobonichi and I thought it looked really cute. So I wanted to put it in mine. This journal entry that Helen wrote is really funny. I, I'll like pause it and hold it. I won't read it, but in case you want to read it, but it's very funny. Uh, and then this one, I don't remember if I bought this or this is a freebie, but this is absolutely gorgeous. It's like a um, kind of spring cleaning and gardening and spring colors and stuff dashboard. I absolutely love that. So that was what Anna picked up for me. So thank you, my friend. And then this was another order that I got because um, I basically said to Anna, can you pick up the key things that I need? Like these are like the things I think will sell out. And then I went back and ordered stickers. <laughs> so my order here was packed by Fiona. So in here, we have quite a big order. I mean, nothing compared to what some people order for the coffee house, I have to say, but still a, um, a relatively large order here. So first one, we've got this. Thank you for ordering. What a cute flat lay and stickers and stuff. Very cute. We've also got the I collect washi again, and then also an I collect stickers. So very cute. Then in terms of the stickers we've got here, so I've got these ones which are in love emojis because I just don't have a lot of like happy stickers. Um, I think it says a lot about me, but I, I don't have enough and I, I don't use these necessarily to mark being in love with Stuart. I just am all the time, but like I use it to mark like when cute things happen or happy things happen. So I just needed a few more of those fountain pen emojis i plan to use these when i am doing my calligraphy which i have not done any so far but i really want to be into calligraphy and i really really loved it when i did it last year these ones are multitasking emojis i always need more work stickers i mark a lot of work things in my planner and so having a bigger range of work stickers is just never a bad thing these ones are feeling achy and sore i have a lot of like headache stickers or stomach stickers but i kind of needed things for like when you have other things wrong with you so these are absolutely perfect for that these are some of my favourite stickers from Helen, which are cosy blanket stickers, and I'd nearly run out, so I just wanted to get some more. These ones are May the 4th, so Star Wars ones. I use Star Wars stickers to mark when we watch things like Andor and The Bad Batch and stuff like that, so just needed some more. Ironing stickers. I just don't really have any ironing stickers, and I don't, we don't iron that often, I have to be honest, but there are the odd times we iron, and I want to be able to have a sticker to mark it. These ones are holiday baking emojis. I just couldn't resist these, and, you know, I like to bake. <laughs> these ones, for the same reason I mentioned earlier, I need more sleep stickers and Snorlax is adorable. I think these are really cute to mark sleeping, napping, all that kind of stuff. Sad emojis, as I say, I mark a lot of negative things in my planner, so I always need a bigger range. These are some of my most used stickers from Helen, which are the emoji heads part two, and so I just needed to refresh those. This is me. These are the nerdy working emojis, which I actually showed on the washi tape from Alex. And as I say, this looks a lot like me while I'm working. These ones I think are really cute. It's just these early night stickers. These ones are daily affirmation stickers. And um, Helen did a washi with these on, which I used in my Hobonichi. I'm actually going to put these with my Hobonichi though, because they're like Hobonichi. I don't think I'll use that in my normal planner. That's kind of for my Hobonichi. These ones are virtual date emojis. Um, both Stuart and I travel for work. Not, not too excessively i wouldn't call our relationship long distance or anything like that but when we are away from each other i do mark when we call each other and so because we do call each other every day if we're not together because we're sickly like that and so i just wanted some more stickers that i felt would mark that because i don't really have stickers that represent speaking on the phone to him these ones are just cute normal date night ones i don't know why i have two i don't know if i ordered two or they put two in it feels like something i don't need two of like i wouldn't don't think i would have chosen to order two but who knows and then these ones i just thought were adorable and i plan to use these in my hobonichi in my like weekly spreads these are just so cute so we have they're basically rainbow functionals in the same sort of format but a different design so we have pink we have orange, and I love that they are different. Like we've got a little little orange tabby there. Yellow, love the little darks, like the light bulb. The green, I love this one, so peaceful. The blue, really love that. The purple, I love we've got like crystals and stuff there. And we've got the brown one, very cute and neutral. And the grey one. So I really, really love those. So just like a little bit different. Then this one, again, I don't know if this was a freebie or something that I bought. But it's more emoti heads. But it's got like a big range. But they're on transparent paper. So very interesting there. 
Then these ones are the Year at a Glance stickers, which to go in my Hobonichi, it's the same as everybody, I think, but to go in the front section of my Hobonichi. And then this is the bean card I got here, which I am obsessed with this because this piece is my word of the year. And this is perfect. I'm going to see if there's a way. Like, it's bigger than my Hobonichi, I expect. Ah, uh, no, it's not. It would be very thick to put in my Hobonichi, but also kind of perfect because this is so what I'm trying to achieve. Like, when I was trying to explain my word of the year in my goals video, this was what I was trying to explain about protecting my piece. And so I just feel like this is just absolutely perfect effect so very very happy to have that so yeah a real range of like coffee monsters co stuff there but so adorable and a huge thank you to alex for the washi tape and for anna for picking up that stuff for me you guys are the best okay i've got a few more bits to show you which are kind of also relate to uh, my hobonichi so the first thing is the wonderful malika of just a perfectionist on instagram picked up these mild liners for me these are in this new neutral colorway and i'm obsessed with them look at the olive look at the tan that pink i am really 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 obsessed with these the current mild liners that i have i do use mild liners a lot the current mild liners that i have are much brighter so these are just going to be perfect for using in my hobonichi so excited i don't know where malika got them from but a huge thank you to malika for picking them up for me then i also have let's talk hobonichi plastic covers so if you um if you're in the hobonichi space you will know that people put a, a plastic cover on their Hobonichi because the Hobonichi, just as a planner in general, is very easy to get a bit damaged. It's a cardboard cover. It's not plastic. It gets dusty and it gets fingerprints on it and stuff. So people use plastic covers. People very casually say it's a Midori planner cover. And I have a Midori planner cover on my hobonichi avec cousin from 2022 and i went to put it on my hobonichi 2023 uh which is a normal cousin rather than an avec and the avecs are half the size and i was like this doesn't fit the spine isn't big enough so i then realized that pete there must be a different size of cover so i went onto amazon and in amazon of the uk they have two listings in the midori one so there's the listing for the one I have for the cousin, and then there's one called large. And I was like, okay, well, maybe large means large spine, so I'll pick that up. No, that meant A4, so that was wrong. So I still have that. I don't think I'll even bother to send it back. Then I was like, okay, so that's not correct, so what do I need to find? And I went back and watched Helen's uh, Hobonichi video again, and thankfully she'd kept this gray bit here which shows the picture is different to what is on uk amazon you can't pick up this type of cover on uk amazon and a lot of people have like put in the reviews on the uk amazon they're like this isn't big enough for my hobonichi i'm here to tell you friends no <laughs> it isn't because it's not the right one so this is the right one it's called the midori codex cover and it is big up so you can see here that the spine is a lot bigger and it expands to fill your hobonichi so that's just to let you know that's just a friendly tip from me to you because i wasted a lot of money that i don't want anyone else to waste so i picked this up from colt pens i'm pretty sure but i do also have well i lie so i actually have two of these because i picked one up from a french shop called what is the name of the french shop uh Paperole, paperole, <laughs> um, and I had to have, but the shop is in Canada, but it's a French shop because people in Canada speak French and um, like everything, the whole website's in French <laughs> and luckily I speak pretty good French and was able to check out, but I did obviously have to pay to have it shipped here. So I paid four pounds for this, for the cover and 13 pounds in shipping which I didn't think I was going to be able to get this from anywhere else. It was sold out everywhere because, you know, other people knew this was the Hobonichi cover. So I was like, no, I can't trust I'm going to get it in stock anywhere else. I'm just going to order it. I don't care that I'm paying more. My Hobonichi needs protecting. About two days after I ordered this, the uh, stock notification on Colt Pens came in and was like, the cover's in stock. And I was like, okay so i decided to get it because if i have a hobonichi cousin again next year i'll use it on that one and again it was only like four pounds on colt pens but colt pens in the uk so it was significantly cheaper so i was just like you know what i'm gonna get it again because it's just needed and then so that's why i can show you this one because the other one is on the planner but i did just want to show you this is so cute from the shop they hand wrote in these rainbow corollas merci <laughs> 
so adorable. So I really love that. So that is very, very cute there. So just wanted to show you that. So that's another thing for my Hobonichi. And then they also sent me these, this, this postcard. There you go. And so that's very cute as well. And then I think this is the final shop is Color Cafe on Etsy. And I got these tabs for my Hobonichi. So I've actually not opened these properly. So let's open these up together and take a look. So the, um, there's a few freebies. So this is the like little journaling card. And they have wrote my name. So very cute. And then they gave me a free die cut and this little just breathe sticker so very cute have to say it was took a little bit longer than i was expecting but i ordered like around christmas time so it's probably not a massive surprise so these are page tabs and we have monthly daily and weekly and as i say these are for my hobonichi they are not as thick as i was expecting i thought they were going to be more like a thicker material but I think them being thinner will benefit the Hobonichi because the paper is so thin. So these are probably going to be fine, but I haven't tested them, so I can't speak to testing them. But yeah, they are thinner than I expected. Hopefully I won't rip them or anything. I mean, they feel quite sturdy, but yeah, I thought they were going to be sort of more plasticky. But hopefully they will work well because obviously they're going to be moved around a fair bit. So yeah, you could pick your words and fonts and stuff. So I picked daily, monthly and weekly for the Hobonichi. So that is everything other than the plan of face january mystery i'm glad to nearly be at the end of this video because to be honest i really do not feel well enough to film this and i have some regrets but anyway so last but not least we have the january mystery from plan of face so if you don't want to see it please leave now love you bye but otherwise you are choosing to stay for this in three two one here we have it the absolutely stunning january mystery so if you don't know i do work with anna on the planet face mystery and that involves coming up with themes and clip art lists and writing out stuff for anna and mood boards and all that kind of stuff and i that does mean i get the mystery gifted for free so just so you know about that so we came up with this kind of Mother's Day-esque theme quite a while ago <laughs> and it went through a few variations, it went through a few different colour palettes but it has come out so well. <laughs> the artist did such a good job with this and I'm really really gutted that this year Mother's Day falls on the same week as St Patrick's because I have a St Patrick's kit that I haven't been able to use for two years because of other things that happened in the week. So I wasn't able to use it and this St. Patrick's kit is getting quite old so I really want to use it but I'm so gutted that I won't be able to use this Mother's Day kit because it's so gorgeous just one of my favorite kits that we've done The look how detailed the house is all of the pastries and the afternoon tea it just looks so good and I do understand that not everyone necessarily will celebrate Mother's Day I do think that you can a very easily just miss out the Mother's Day box that's very easy but also I feel like if you were using it as a mum yourself you could use it for Mother's Day but also like a birthday or something or just like it, you know you could even use it if this was say like your godmother or something like that and you were celebrating their birthday and missing out the mum box like it's we didn't want to make it a Mother's Day kit it is much more an afternoon tea kit it just has some Mother's Day elements just to make it a little bit different. I love the colours of this it's this blue and kind of minty green it's such a vibe it's so cute i absolutely love it when it arrived i was like anna i just keep staring at it like it's come out even better than i imagined and look at the bottom washi this is a real place that anna's been for an afternoon tea <laughs> um she wanted to base it on that which is just absolutely gorgeous Oh, it's so pretty. So we'll come back to all of those. So we have the glitter add-on. So I do get the full format gifted and the mystery format has a lot of extras. So you get the box add-on included and then you get the mystery specific page, which Anna has gone for the scene of the place having the afternoon tea, which I think was absolutely the right choice. Just unbelievably gorgeous. The artist did such a good job. You also get the 15 millimeter included and then you get alternate skin tones for the boxes, which is gorgeous. I love how these fashion people came out. It's just so cute. And then we've got a few alternatives of boxes here. So again, if you don't want to use this for Mother's Day, it's incredibly easy to swap that out because Anna has done 
the present with no name on there. So super easy. We've also gone for the more American phrasing of mom rather than mum. So you can use that as well. And then Anna also wanted to include like a hand-drawn style Happy Mother's Day card in there. It was just a particular thing she wanted to do to kind of be like, if your kids were doing something for you for Mother's Day, there's like a hand-drawn card. So that's adorable. So again, we've got like a real range of stuff there. So just an unbelievably beautiful kit, in my opinion. It's just one of my favourites we've ever done. And this was the die cut that came with it as well. So Anna has switched from the postcards to die cuts. So we've got this cup of tea here so I do need to figure out what I'm going to do with my die cuts because I don't know where I'm going to stick them but I would like to stick them all somewhere when we have like the whole year's range but I'm just not sure yet so if you are interested in subscribing for the mystery so I will not get this video up before the first of the month I don't think uh it would be a miracle if I did but I don't think I will so um you will probably miss the February one so the next one will be March but basically the subscriptions open on the 25th of the month and then they close on the first of the month and so it basically it means that you have sort of a few days to subscribe and then they'll ship in the middle of the following month so probably for this video uh it will be the march one that you will be able to um sign up for from the end of feb like 25th of february and you will then be able to get one on an airship in the middle of march uh you can always see sneak peeks on anna's uh social medias and i share them on my social media as well you can sign up to the rolling subscription which is a bit cheaper or you can pick up the one-off if you are not convinced you'll like every single one you can sign up for one-off and just base it based on the sneaks if you want to do that instead if you have any questions about the mystery do feel free to drop me a message down below because i'm always happy to chat about it uh cool i think that's everything so i'm now gonna film my outro and go come up in a corner somewhere and try and feel better <laughs> okay that is it for today's video i really hope you enjoyed and thank you for putting up with my unwell voice i will link to all of these shops in the description down below if you did enjoy this video i would massively appreciate a like if you haven't already i would love it if you had subscribed to my channel and you can also find me over on instagram at peace.love.plan i'll also have a link in the description to my book channel as well so if you like book content uh, then you may also want to check me out there otherwise i'll see you in my next video bye